Egyptians, like other Muslims around the world, have held ceremonies to celebrate Eid al-Adha. The ceremony started with prayers in different mosques. After the prayers, the worshippers performed another important ritual, slaughtering the sheep which symbolizes Prophet Abraham's willingness to sacrifice his son Ismail for God. Fathers take their sons to witness the sacrifice and then the rest of the morning is spent in cutting up the meat and giving it to those in need. In a country like Egypt, where many face poverty, Eid al-Adha is one of the few occasions for poor families eat meat. Families and relatives exchange visits on the first and the second day of Eid. But undoubtedly, those who enjoy the festivities more than others are the children who get dressed head to toe in new clothes and receive gifts of money from parents and older family members. While many have taken advantage of the long holiday and left the city to enjoy some peace and quiet elsewhere, those who did stay in the city choose to go outdoors to enjoy the beautiful fall weather and take a much needed break from the hectic pace of life. We have to celebrate the Eid. It's a day that I spend with my family and children. I take them out to have a nice dinner and enjoy these holy celebrations. Political divisions in the country were also visible on the days of Eid, where supporters and opponents of the ousted president Mohamed Morsi staged rallies following prayers in some of the country's largest mosques, but no clashes were reported. Egypt has been struck by turmoil since July 3rd, but on Eid al-Adha, most people have decided to put political differences aside to observe the Muslim holiday and enjoy the vacation with family and loved ones. Karim Gamaleddin, Press TV, Cairo.